Alright guys, so I said I was going to do it, and here we go. So it's the 3D printed piston, I'm running on a Terni 11.1 buffer tube lipo, and show it still works. I really don't fucking want to do this, but it seems like I got to. This is going to hurt my ears, man. Fucking survived, holy shit. You see that, boys? That is fucked. I just PME'd that thing, like, what, 10 times in a row? 15 times? And, well, that's gonna be a fucking... That's gonna hurt it. Here goes nothing. Oh. What? It still works! A full auto. 43 RPS. pme to shit. Look at that, boys. So. Still fucking works. Holy shit. Fucking PME proof. Let's go. Garter SP150. DSG. That That's a 3D printed piston. And to prove it. I'm going to take this gun apart right now, just to see what the fuck happened to it, because I know it's definitely damaged. So we're good. Actually, I'm going to plug my big battery. So, this guy causes the gun to uh, double cycle, and the double cycle also so happens to put the piston in the most forward position, which is nice. Double cycle and pistons in the forward position. And I'll just test that to make sure. Yep. Fuck man, that was stressful. But it has survived. Try that with a SHS piston. Pretty much any piston other than I would say the SEMA FMR, the Kratos, and the uh, FPS software um, ZS piston, and they will explode. Last time that happened to me on a SHS 15T with an epoxied rack, um, the whole entire back of the piston blew off. Holy shit, the motor screws are jammed for some reason. There you go. Now I don't want, I didn't want to fully PME it until it, well, essentially exploded, simply because I'm not too fond of having a shit ton of metal bits flying around my gearbox. Now I am running Etzo bearings, so this test could have costed me quite a bit of money, but for fucking science, boys. Yeah, it's taking me a bit of time because um, this is a stupid G&G buffer tube. I can't pull out the thing without cutting the wires. I don't have bullet connectors to, you know, fix the issue, so it's just some soldered shit. 
So sorry about that. I am incapable of finding my bit. size I am looking forward to what the fuck happened in here, especially considering it's still functional, which is quite surprising. This is an FDM 3D printed bullshit. I was expecting it to, I don't know, last maybe a few shots, but it seems like it handled PME like fucking 40, 50 times which is promising. And also, I completely forgot to mention, this is Gen 1 with, um, and this, when I did my test, this piston here had much worse um, layer adhesion than what I currently have right now. So, Generation 2, well, technically, like, Generation fucking, like, 60, is even more durable and even more resistant. And the other material I'm using... This one is the first gen material. The other material is more impact resistant, slightly more flexible, so should be even more forgiving if you do happen to PME the shit out of your gun like a dunce like I just did today. So, fucking moment of truth. Let's see what has happened on the inside of this gun. There is a shim. I do not know where that came from, but that's important. I'll put that aside. Actually, I'll just take this out. This is the star of the show. Look at that, boys. Barely anywhere. Piston body. The piston body is, is unfazed. Inside you can see there is zero cracks. What the fuck have I just done? That's... That's... Uh, that's something, guys. I've done this to a Kratos piston. The underside of the rack here cracked a bit. The support tooth was fully intact but it still showed signs of deformation and it allowed the rack to cave in just a bit. Um, SHS piston, well, we all know that fucking pickup tooth would have been gone by now. Well, at least um, back support. The rack would have been kind of fine, but yeah, guys, it's, it's fucking real. I just built with a commercial grade 3D printer a piston that is as strong, if not stronger than what's currently available on the market.
I haven't truly PME'd the hell out of a SEMA FMR. I have pretty much every other piston. So, yeah guys, that's it. Everything else inside the gun seems totally fine. The gears are fine. Well, bevel gear is fine. I do have to figure out where the hell those shims went though. There is no crap in the cylinder because the there was no metal that was shaving off the piston, which is a good sign, which means the racks are solid. SHS sector gear is also good condition. We're good on that one. I do notice some wear along the tops of the teeth, but that's that's to be expected. If I remember correctly, these go. I should put that aside. So yeah, there you have it. The FDM 3D printed, indestructible PME fucking proof piston. Next up is going to be testing on, well, once I get it, the TSG. And hopefully I'm going to be really stupid and do full stroke or minus three short stroke uh, full uh, M175 ST. So the same, essentially the same build as the TSG, but instead I'll be slapping in a faster motor and a single sector gear. And then hooking it up to a 14.8 volt LiPo. So that'll be 18 to 1, 40K, M175, minus 3 SS on a 14.8 volt. And I'm going to spam that trigger. Not on this gearbox, because I'm pretty sure we all know G&G gearbox, dry firing on a M175 will explode. All right, that is all. Have a good day to all y'all.